music producers. It's Curtis King at CurtisKingBeats.com. And you know what dawned on me? I have never, to my channel, done an 808 sliding gliding tutorial. And I got literally the easiest way to slide your 808s. You're going to be shocked. Oh, my God. Let's talk about it. Music producers, I was working on this beat, and as I started to put together these 808 slides, it dawned on me. Maybe it was the homie Decap who just released one for Ableton 10 live. I don't know what they call it over there, but he just did one. It just dawned on me. I have never done an 808 slide glide tutorial, and I promise you, this way is literally the easiest way. I don't know how it was for you starting off, but when I was trying to figure out how to slide my 808s in FL, it wasn't as cut and dry as it is for a lot of producers. I've watched many tutorials, and something about how it started and ended and where it's supposed to go i just didn't understand exactly how that works so i started doing research and i actually found a super super easy way especially if you're just getting started or just trying to figure out a different way to get a different feeling with your 808s let's listen to this example and the way that it kind of flows with the beat so you can tell that it's hard to tell the difference between the way that i'm showing you and the way that everybody else is showing you let's listen to this beat i'm working on called unconditional love <laughs> So I wanted you to hear these 808s while in the flow of the beat, just so you can see that although it's a different technique, it's hard to really tell the difference between that and the traditional way, which is for those that don't know, you basically put an 808 here, you glide it out here as far as you want it to go, and then you glide it up and down, depending on what notes you want to do. Let's zoom in on here. So you want to go from a low C to a higher C. And then basically you return it back here and then you go ahead and click the slide. So we all pretty much know this way. We know that way. We know we can. We know we got to take this and bring that back. All of that's cool, but some of us want to find a way that works more so in the flow of things. So the way that I'm going to show you works with pretty much any 808 you can think of. So let's just take this head explosion 808 from Mr. Decap. First thing we gotta do is go over here to the channel properties, the envelope and instrument settings, and shape this. Take the attack all the way down, take the decay down, the sustain, the release, take the hold out just a little bit. Now see how we have better control of that? So we shape the 808. Next, we're gonna mess around with the glide, and this is pretty amazing how this goes. If you go over here to the miscellaneous functions, there's a polyphony feature. You click on monophonic, since we're only dealing with one sound and not many sounds, like polyphonic, and then here, you have pretty much a portamental time or a slide feature that allows you to go up and down and manipulate the slide to your liking. This is all within any FL Studio version that you have. So let's see what happens when we just mess around with a new pattern all together. So I'm gonna take this up a few octaves so you can hear it. Now you know what that would have sounded like had we not had this feature on. It'd have been like, but that's not what it sounds like, thankfully. So this is the way we do it. We take this. And just like the other 808 slide strategy, you got to make sure that this note has somewhere to end at. So once you do that, let's go ahead and mess around a little bit with this actual slide feature in the polyphony option. The further up you go, the longer it takes to slide between notes. The more to the left you go, the more you start to kind of mess around with that portamental timing. So 
as you can see, we're already getting some interesting slides within this. Something I like to do to even mess with people's mind even more is I'll go up here, I'll go to the one third beat mode, push control U. And then I'll take one of these notes and actually dip it down another octave. So all you're doing is basically using these two tools, the slider. You don't have to worry about putting the slide feature and the glide and all of that extra stuff that's going on. This is a cool way to kind of like test out an 808 and see what it would sound like gliding if you like the other way. Or you may just want to use this. And that beat that I showed you earlier, that's exactly what I use. That was my simple and easy way to go ahead and slide your 808s. I don't know if you've seen it before, but it's definitely been helping me out. And I'm so sorry for not sharing this earlier. Once again, this is Curtis King at CurtisKingBeats.com. Peace. Please subscribe to the channel below. Curtis King, CurtisKingBeats.com.